Installing Forge 1.20.4 shouldn't be hard at all. As you can see, I'm in Minecraft 1.20.4 with mods. So I'm going to teach you how to install Forge real quick. Let's get started. Step number one to downloading and installing Forge is clicking the second link in the description. That will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, this is a very in-depth guide. You could actually go through the indexing here and you could read and look at the screenshots. But for those of you that just want to follow along the video, all you got to do is to scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. That is going to redirect you over here where it's very important that we pay attention and we click on 1.20.4 because as you can see 1.20 is automatically selected and we don't want to download 1.20 go ahead and click on 1.20.4 and once it says 1.20.4 here click on the installer that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds without clicking anything as you can see there's a timer here on the top and once the button says a skip in there go ahead and click it like that just click on a skip and the download will start automatically in my case it asks me where i want to save the file but for most of you it's just going to download automatically and as you can see forge is almost done downloading here if you're using chrome you can find it in the downloads area right here on the top and if you're, you're not using chrome you can probably find it in your downloads folder once you have the Forge installed downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. It should look like this. Now, as you can see, Forge is a JAR file. The Forge installer is a JAR file. In order to install any JAR file for any Minecraft above 1.16.4, which is the case of 1.20.4, you will need to have at least Java 17 in your computer. And why am I telling you this? Because a lot of the times I get some comments saying that the Forge installer didn't work. In order for you to get Java 17, I'm gonna leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. It's actually super simple. You just download and install it. It's super, super simple. And I'm also gonna leave a guide on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is a necessary step that you do after you install Java. What jar fix pretty much does is that it grabs all your jar files, like the installer for Forge, and it links it to the newer Java that you install, right? So you download and install Java 17, run a jar fix, and then this file will work if it wasn't working before, okay? I have to let you guys know because I get some comments sometimes saying, hey, the installer didn't work. Anyways, now that we have the Forge installer, I actually went ahead and downloaded a mod just to try out the installer. You don't have to download a mod because you just came here to install Forge. But yeah, I went ahead and downloaded the physics mod. I'm still gonna leave the link in the description in case you wanna download the mod as well. But I'm assuming most of you have some other mods that you wanna try out. In order to install Forge now, we need to run Micro 1.20.4 Vanilla at least once in our computer, then close it out and then close out the launcher. Just make sure that you have run Minecraft 1.20.4 once, that you closed it, that you closed the launcher, and now you're pretty much ready to go. Just go ahead and double click on Forge. That is going to open the installer, as you can see right here. It says install client by default, and you're not going to change anything here unless you manually change the installation of Minecraft whenever you install Minecraft in your computer. But for most of you, that's not going to be the case. You're just gonna leave it as it is, and you're gonna click OK and wait for Forge to install. Now, while Forge is installing in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you wanna create a server for Minecraft Java or Minecraft Bedrock where you could use Forge, any mod, any mod pack that you want and play with your friends at the same time without compromising your computer because you have to make your own server. Well, Apex Hosting is here for you. They will make a server for you. They will host it online. The server will be open 24 seven as well as their customer support 24 seven in case you need help. And here it is. If you use the first link in the description, you will get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. And now that you know about Apex Hosting, let's get back into the tutorial. As you can see, Forge has finished installing properly and it will show you something like this saying complete. You click OK, the installer closes, and you could even delete the Forge installation file. Go ahead and delete that. You could even delete this text document as well. And now we're gonna open our Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher is open, if we install Forge properly, we'll see it selected automatically in here. If that's not the case for you, you could always go over to installation and make sure that modded is selected. When you select modded, Forge will appear. If by any chance it's not showing in there, you could always go to new installation and find Forge in here. As you can see, if you look through here, you will find the release 1.20.4 Forge. You can name this whatever you want and then click create and that will create an instance for you. If Forge didn't show automatically, which for 95% of us, it will show automatically. Now, how do we add the mods to Forge? Well, you're gonna head over to installations, you're gonna find Forge in here, and you're gonna click on this little folder that appears right next to Forge. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files, and I'm actually gonna minimize the browser, or the launcher, I'm sorry. And in here, you're gonna look for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my mods folder is right here. If by any chance the mods folder is not here for you, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine, if by any reason the mods folder is not here for you, you could always right click, click new, and type in MODS and create the mods folder yourself, okay? That is for those of you that didn't get the mods folder in there for any reason. 
Once you have the mod folder, you could open it and drop in any mod that you have. In this case, I'm going to drop in the physics mod 1.20.4. Just drop it in into that mods folder. You could close out from this folder and you could launch your Forge instance of Minecraft now. Just click that you understand and then click play. And once the game has opened, as you can see, you will know you're in Forge because it literally says down here Forge and you have a mods option in here where we actually see our physics mod that we added, but we're still going to go ahead and test it. Just launch any world that you have. I'm going to create a new world. I'm actually going to create a creative world and let's go ahead and create that world and yeah any mods that you added should be loaded in here also if you want to use forge online remember that you could create a server using apex hosting with the first link in the description and you'll get 25 percent off something really cool about apex hosting is that you could actually control the server through your phone so you could go into the server console and kick people out op people whatever you want to do you could do through the server console anyways we're now in the world and if we break a block we see that the physics mod is working which means that the Forge Mods Loader is working. And that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting tutorials constantly for you guys, for Minecraft and many other games and software. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye-bye.